Hi everybody and welcome back to the Suburban Homestead. Today, tomato terraces. Okay everybody, this is what you're gonna end up with. This is my solution to an indeterminate variety of tomatoes. It's the easiest way that I have found yet to have your tomatoes grow in a vine, which indeterminate varieties like to do, and go vertical. So this is it. It is a handy panel, which you can pick this up at any um, hardware store, I would imagine, in your local area. And then I've got two T-posts. So a T-post and a handy panel. This handy panel is, whoop, is eight feet long and it's 50 inches wide. So 50 inches by eight feet. My beds are 12 feet long. Um, it's the best way that I've found. I've done twine, I've done string, I've done any variety of wood, and it just all wears out. So I'm going metal this year. So here's how we do it. Okay, so here's what we've got. I need to measure back so that I can center my, uh, my panels on my bed. My beds are 12 feet long, my uh, panel is only eight feet long. So I just measure back two feet from the end and I will set my first T post there. I'll do the same thing on the other side. I put them in about a foot to 18 inches or so. And then I come in with my panel itself and I attach my panel with T post clips. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. Let's set the post and then we'll put up the panel. All right, so your next step, um, I've got a fencing tool, but you don't really need a fencing tool. You really can just use a screwdriver. Um, but you're gonna need T-post clips. That is what a T-post clip looks like. Um, you can pick these up. I got these at my uh, tractor supply. Same thing for my, my panel. The, um, the panel cost me $14. These clips, a bag of 50 of them cost me like $4. So all in all, I've got two of these up. I'm in at about 30 bucks. Um, doesn't take long to put these up. As you see, this is a really short video today. So um, I'll, let, me, let me put these up and I'll show you how you go. Okay, so here's what you got. You go up and over, pull it tight, up and over, and then pull it down through. Some of these are a little crooked to begin with, so you gotta work at it a little harder. Whoops. Like I said, sometimes you gotta work at it a little harder. There you go, you're locked in. Okay, so one thing I do wanna show you, I've run into a bit of an issue here, but it's not a major one. So I like to do three clips. So one, two, which you'll see I don't have one down low like I do over here. So I've got one, two, and three. So what I like to do is I do that so it stays a little bit stronger, but sometimes you run into quality control issues. So on this T-post, with your clip, you need to go up and over, around, and then down through. And what you need to do is you need to come have whatever you're tying it to above your spike there. Sorry, having major focus issues today with my camera. There we go. So it's gotta be above. And the reason that is, is this, this clip is made to where it pulls everything really tight. If it's not already tight, you can't get it wrapped around the back. Okay, so it won't wrap around the back. And that's what I'm running into here, is you see I've got my cross member right in line with my spine there. Okay, down there and up here. So I can't put one down here because I can't move 
far enough to get it either I can't get it above my spine there so I don't have really a major issue there I've got plenty of clips on it but I just wanted to show you sometimes you do run into quality control issues all right so that's it that's the easiest and fastest way I know of to have a tomato trellis for indeterminate varieties of tomatoes go to your local tractor supply get you two t-posts one handy panel that's eight feet long they come in 16 foot lengths if you have a really big garden but i honestly i don't have a trailer i don't know how i would get it back to my house so i just bought an eight foot length um the the 16 foot lengths are actually called uh cattle panels we use them in in building corral and stuff um but 13 dollars uh the t posts are just a few dollars a piece and a bag of t post clips is about four bucks so there you are you're in it about um 17 dollars for the clips and the panel and then i forget how much the t posts were off the top of my head but it's not more than a few bucks so 20 bucks you'll have a reusable trellis for indeterminate varieties of tomatoes all right that's it leave me a comment down below give me a like uh, hopefully I'll get a few more videos out here. Uh, the job really takes me away in the late fall and early spring. So uh, hopefully I'll have a little more time to work on this uh, whole YouTube channel thing. All right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time.